Look at this gem. Man, I've been looking at this truck here for a while. You guys have probably seen this thing too. Matt, what is this? What is it doing? Yeah, she's just been in the background. Uh, this is my 1988 GMC Sierra, regular cab short bed, two wheel drive truck. Uh, I've had it for about seven years. And if you're a long time viewer of this channel, you have seen it once or twice. Yep. But uh, the last time it was out, we took it drag racing and it blew up. So it's been sitting for the past three years or so. It's been a few years, yeah. You know, I'm sure you guys can relate. Like anytime something major happens to your project vehicle, it, it's very demotivating and <laughs> you end up just putting it away in a corner for a while. So that's what I did. But uh, what this is, is it has a six liter LS, an LQ4. Okay. With a four L80 transmission. And it's got a pretty decent sized turbo on it. Yes. It's all taken apart right now. Yes. So let's just look under the hood. Yeah, right let's, let's see this thing. It, uh, it rips good. I've seen it in action a couple of times. And like Matt was saying, you know, something goes down. Not only is it a bummer, so you kind of lose your focus on it, but also there's so many things going on around here all the time. There's mm -hmm. infinite distractions. So finally just said, you know what? This thing's too cool to just have sitting around. Yeah, it's winter something. time. So right. winter time is the time to get stuff like this ready to go for the spring back on the road. Yep. Um, but yeah, basically what happened was I heard a lot of spark knock. There was a lot of detonation and it chipped the number seven piston. Dang Broke the it. ring land. Kind of a classic thing that happens with these. So it's been sitting torn apart for a couple years now. And uh, I don't know. Could you point the camera down in there and see? Oh, it's all the way toward the front. Yeah. So it didn't fail catastrophically, but she's done. No, the, the, the block is still good, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but this engine, like, I got it for 200 bucks yeah. originally. And it has 300,000 miles on it. <laughs> um, that being said, I put a ton of miles on it, NA and with the turbo on it later you know, just through multiple summers of driving it. And uh, it didn't burn any oil, it had good compression. So I think it's still a good engine. There's some minor rust in the cylinder walls now from being opened up for so long, but. Sure. Uh, so this engine might be good. It might be good. Potential gonna, here, yeah, but un unknown. Just yet. However, as a backup, I got a 4.8 liter. Oh yeah, another junkyard fresh, find. Fresh out of <laughs> junkyard. This one is what they call seasoned. Very <laughs> this, seasoned. This is just classic car guy stuff. I love it. Look at this puppy. Yeah, so this sucker was only a couple hundred bucks. Uh, complete dropout. It isn't anything special because it's a really old one. It's like a 99 or 2000 uh, 4.8 liter. Okay. But it might be good and it'll be better for boost potentially with a little bit of setup so okay. i'm just going to tear it apart see what we see you know you never know what surprises you're going to find in one of these prime example i actually bought two four eights <laughs> a long time ago and this one i tore apart yeah she uh she didn't get the oil changed very often it looks like yeah. and it spun a crank bearing so that crank bearing oh, yeah. you can see is completely gone. Not good. It's full of metal shavings. Like, it's just toast. Yep. Could be rebuilt, but a lot of work there, so. Yeah. Well, all right, man. So let's just tear that thing apart. I'm let's, into it. I, I, just, I can't wait any longer. <laughs> let's see it.
Alrighty then. Nasty. <laughs> Just got a little corrosion there. Yep. A little PB splashers in there. Wow, a lot of dirt in there. Yeah, I'm not. I don't have super high hopes for this thing. She's uh, seen some use and some stuff. It's pretty old. There's a lot of. Well, I found our first signs of foul play. I think, uh, man, that's disappointing. Got quite a bit of water in that intake port. Looks like the valve got pretty dang rusty. Hopefully, it didn't get into the cylinders. Hopefully, there's no water anywhere else that the intake valve is open on. But we'll see. We'll just keep tearing her up. All right, let's get these valve covers off now. This will be a good indicator of how well taken care of this engine was. Hey, it's not bad. That's not the worst I've seen. It's better than that engine that's in the corner. Okay, so far this is not looking good. To be fair, this was sold to me as a core engine, so you can't be disappointed really, and I might still be able to make one good engine out of that block and hopefully the bottom end on this one is still good. So if you leave the bolts in, you can usually take this whole thing off. Look at that. As an assembly. Really nice job, Matt. And that's that. So you can see a pretty common issue on these two. Uh, we got a bolt broken off in the exhaust manifold. And that causes a ticking noise. Yeah, um, and usually these will break off too when you go to take them out, but I'm not going to reuse these heads. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to zap them off and see what happens. Okay. Wow. Right. Oh, whoa. Are you okay, bud? Got my, my face. <laughs> yep, yeah, see that? Bolt broken off in yeah. there. Get these top bolts out. Wow. There's some goo in there, huh? It's pretty goo. Where's that little screwdriver? <laughs> Normally I'd care a lot more about cleanliness, but this'll, if it's any good, it'll all get torn down and cleaned anyway right. in like a hot tank, mm -hmm. so. Here oh, no. we go. What a mess. I might have to vacuum it again. Yeah. So those are actually head bolts, believe it or not. All right, now for the big head bolts. What's the word of the day? Goop. I could, I could feel from the other top that a cylinder head was about to come off. <laughs> I'm like, man, I need to be a part of this. Okay. Yeah. Not quite yet. No, not yet, Doug. Take it easy. We're getting close, though. <laughs> Bolts are coming out, you know. You take enough of metal, things happen. <laughs> Remember, with these race engines, cleanliness. <laughs> cleanliness is key. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, Got the paper head gaskets on her. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. She's been sitting around a little bit too long. She got some water in her. Yep. Some H2Os. Which is pretty ironic because that other one was the one I thought had water in it. And this one seemed fine because the hood was still on the truck. 
but uh, and the intake was still on it. This does have the old paper head gasket, so this is probably a 99. <laughs> wow. I mean, she's been sitting for a while, huh? Yeah, which, like I said, bought this as a core, dirt cheap, just to see, you know, if I could make something out of it. So it looks like this engine is not gonna get used. The bores are cooked. I don't think that's gonna come out with a dingleberry. <laughs> no, that's a I little bit. I don't think it's gonna do it. Looks like the bow end of the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little bit too far. I mean, you're gonna take the other side off for science? Probably should, yeah. just for fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen one with paper head gaskets. Maybe that's why she leaked it. Paper can't trust it. Can't trust can't it, trust dude. It. That water definitely went in right through the head gasket <laughs> from the outside. <laughs> Seems like it's always the end ones, huh? Yeah, it's always the end ones, either that one or that one. <laughs> the fact that any of those come out is pretty incredible. I mean, yeah, honestly, the rest of them came out pretty well, even on the other side for just sticking Milwaukee on and cranking on. Impressive, <laughs> impressive. This side smells like a swamp. Yeah, it smells bad on this <laughs> side. <laughs> Cheapers, creepers. Uh... All right, okay. bank one. Okay. It, I mean, it doesn't matter at this point yeah, too much, right. but. It's just fun to see. Yep, yep, you know, yep. yep. mm-hmm. Definitely not as bad as the other side, it's still bad, but. Yeah, you could save this side. <laughs> dude, just put a little freaking acetone on it, dude. Yeah, maybe I'll just cut this block in half and cut that one in half and kind of <laughs> weld them together. Wow. You can weld uh, cast iron, right? Oh, no problem. Mike Reed said he could do it, dude. Stick weld it, dude. <laughs> let's, let's see if it spins. <laughs> uh, it does smell ter terrible. Just turn it around. Turn it around. Oh. 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 It's all good. Look, this engine turns right over. <laughs> Matt, you goof. <laughs> oh, sorry, I brought some of that pig mat over here. Yeah, I will eventually. All right, let's pull this pan off and well, see if see the bottom end is actually any good. Because I could make two engine or make one engine out of two. Mm -hmm. I do have that technology. Okay. Got these long dogs. Long dogs. Curious to see how much sludge is in the bottom of this pan. Wow. Not that bad, honestly. I'd say this thing probably had 200,000 miles on it. Pickup tube. What was that? That was my stomach growling. Not from being not hungry. Enough, not enough tornadoes? Yeah, here's the deal. Too many tornadoes? I ordered tornadoes for the shop. <laughs> so the convenience store. Might have been a mistake. Turns out unlimited tornadoes. It's a mistake. <laughs> it's a mistake. And then in your own hot dog <laughs> reward. <laughs> Please bring me my wine. We haven't had this oil pan here since 1995. Oh yeah, there's the goods. There's the goods. Well, I don't see any metal shavings, yep. so that's good. Can definitely tell that water got into the oil yeah. and stuff. Um, She's pretty buggered up. Yeah, it's pretty gross looking, but man, I think it's gonna be okay. Frick, that sucker's Those gone. dipstick tubes. You better wash your dipstick. Almost impossible to get out intact. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, we've got the bolts and stuff out of the main caps. So we're gonna check this crank and see if the main bearings are any good. Mm -hmm. As I showed you before, that block, main bearing spun, no good. It had a bunch of metal shavings everywhere. I'm hopeful for this one because it doesn't have any metal shavings that I can see. Mm -hmm. So let's just see what's behind number one here. I already pre-loosened it. Okay. Oh. My finger's even dirtier Probably than that. Probably dirtier than that. Here, 
Let's go ahead and. I thought you said cleanliness is key, Matt. But not for me. <laughs> a little bit of wear there, yeah, but that's just the bearing. Mm -hmm. It's the surface that I care about. That one's probably still usable. Yeah, it looks pretty clean visually. So but we'll go ahead and put this over here. On oh, to the next north one. north and west, huh? What is that one, so? <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I labeled them, but then they're actually <laughs> stamped. So. Clean. A little groovy, but. So far, so good. Not bad. Not bad, Matt. Yeah, I don't think. Obviously, I would take it to a machine shop and have them look it over good. But the main thing is there's no spun bearings. Yep. Please. Not too shabby, not too shabby. So you're saying she's usable. So obviously I haven't checked the rod bearings, but as you saw earlier, the pistons are gonna be hard to get out of those cylinders Pretty well stuck in without there. beating the crap out of them. So I'm just gonna leave that for now. And my absolute worst case scenario at this point, my backup plan is going to be to put this crank into this block. Because this block is good, the cylinder walls are still good. Mm -hmm. um, so I can take that crank out, put our other crank in it, and I think, worst case scenario, I'll have a good 4.8 liter. And that will probably happen because I do have another vehicle that could use a 4.8 swap. You're gonna so, tell, are you going to anyway. tell anyone what that vehicle is? No. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Matt and his secrets, too. No. So, because this engine is junk, I'm gonna have to resort to plan B for fixing my truck. And plan B is, I've got this beautiful, clean, like, it's not really clean, but I have this beautiful setup, six liter pistons, that one of them, I'll just take the best one, clean up the cylinders on my current engine, pop that piston in, and we'll get her running. So that's gonna be for part two. She's gonna run, she's gonna do some burnouts. It's gonna be sweet. But uh, yeah, this was just a fun little thing. Kinda, I don't know, it's always interesting tearing apart, you know, a junk air engine. You never know what you're gonna find. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes you find gold, sometimes it's just junk. Yeah. In this case, it's half junk. There's a reason why that was in the junkyard. Yes, we have a good crank. Uh, the rest of it, probably not, but that's uh, good enough for me. Anyway, thanks for watching.